you guys. So, um, this is, uh, everything I bought at the Brimfield Flea Market. Uh, I'll get those cylinders after, like, the other stuff. So, um, I got, is this in frame? This better be. This is, oh, jeez. This is the, um, sheet music for Alexander, Don't You Love Your Baby No More. Um, I think I know a version by Billy Murray, not too sure, but, uh, pretty good song. Um, got it for 20 bucks. I'll just put that on the chair. Um, I also got this. Jeez, I need to, like, stand behind. But, um, these are stereo views, I think. But, um, if you look through this, I got this a few months back. But, um, you look through this at them, and, uh, you put this here. Uh, and you can see them in 3D. I wonder if it works on. Probably doesn't, but uh, yeah, it'll be 3D. This is titled Eavesdroppers. Uh, pretty funny. And then for the second one, we have this one titled They Always Do It. Not sure what that means, but. Yeah, I don't know, but um, get into the cylinders now. Uh, just pop that there. So I'm starting off. I'm gonna start off with the uh, less, you know, condition in the condition, but uh, I'll just hold the camera. Jeez. So this is uh, it's a big warp. As you can see, that's where, like, the light kind of bends. But, as you can also probably hopefully see, big, big hole in plaster. That's where the warp is. So, seeing that it will probably, well, just, it'll probably, like, um, absolutely destroy my stylus if I try that. So, no, I'm not playing. I played, like, half of it. It's the, um... Jolly Fellows Waltz by Seuss's Band. Uh, on, uh, yeah, starting off with non-functional ones, but, uh, we have this one. I'll just, Jesus Christ, it's hard to film with it on, but, uh, this is, um, the number on the case has nothing to do with it, but it is a Columbia Cylinder. Um, this is one of two I found, uh, smashed. So, thank you. Hard with this one, but um, this I'll probably never play again. And uh, honestly, I just I just super glued the pieces back together. So put that in the light. But um, this is I'm pretty sure uh wherever it is Bluebell, and I looked it up, and I think it's Harry McDonough on Columbia. The, it's on Columbia Records. But, um, just give me a sec, sorry about that. It's really hard with this one. I think I might have glued some of the pieces wrong a little bit. But, um, still fits in the case. With a pretty nice Columbia lid, so pretty cool. Um, the other not as good condition cylinder is um blue violet by the edison concert band um this one i found also pulverized more pulverized than the other one and it has a few holes where uh i couldn't where i just couldn't find it this time i uh, used um weld bond glue because that's what the forum recommended so, yeah, it tries clear. Definitely looks a little better, but, uh, um, there's some holes, and, uh, I got the whole rim in, but there was a lot of cussing, and a lot of, um, th the cylinder, just, like, the piece not gluing together all, but I got it in the end, so. Bye-bye! Oh, also, these, I found these two 
on the caps, parts of caps in the uh, box. There's a big old wooden box that it came in. Uh, but I got the blue envelope separately. And one of the envelopes. So this is the lid that came on this. But it was attached to that. Wait, no. This was attached to this. And this was on here. Y'all yeah, just be quiet. Um, But then with... Then like starting off strong we have this cylinder this is probably my most prized one that I've bought but uh it is a don't want to hold it for too long because it might break oh jeez um that fell but this is a kind of moldy a little bit brown wax one um I might get a Columbia Q and like a month or two at the October mechanical music extravaganza so then I will be able to play it but there's a little bit of writing on the rim that I can't find out but um if you want if you know what it says or have like a copy of this um please contact me at phone to graph guy 3435 on the uh, talking machine forum so um we have this gold molded cylinder. I'm having a very hard time with this. But um, I put little labels on it. So this is Suwanee River with Orchestra Variations, Edison Symphony Orchestra, 1908. Um, very good condition, very shiny. I like it, and 10 out of 10 would look at again. I don't know. It's big darn. But uh then with the blue ambrels that aren't warped. We have on the shores of Italy. I've been looking for this one for a while, played it, good condition, and moving on. Uh Whispering, Crescent Trio, good condition. Been looking for it for a while. Heard only heard the Paul Whiteman version. I don't want these to melt. I'm just gonna divert us as I light. But this is the prettiest little song of all. Bell Solo, Albert Benzler, love it. Definitely would listen again. This one's a little peculiar. Wait, wrong one. I'm talking about this one. But uh, this one is at the Minstrel Show, number five, Edison Minstrels, Murray and Spencer, 1906. And this is Len Spencer, not Elizabeth Spencer. But it's in a Columbia case. And you know what? I don't think that I can melt the cylinders in like 10 minutes, but this is a little bit moldy, as you can see. Not as shiny as the other one I showed, but some gold moldeds don't have grooves on the inside, which I didn't know. I, I thought they all had grooves, so if anyone wants to contact me about that also. So this one's sort of peculiar. Um, just get that off. Damn it, which one is it? Wait, just let me. You know what? Let's just find that one. But... And we'll find it later. But uh, this is Every Little Bit Helps by um, Arthur Collins, I think. Just a slip. Oh, Ada Jones and Lynn Spencer. Yeah, this one. It's it has the N word a few times. Uh, it's moldy, kind of. I don't know. It's just not as shiny. The second. Uh, these are both Columbias, but don't look like them no more. Uh, this is um as said on here, Mama's boy, which I couldn't find, but uh, I couldn't like find a original recording on YouTube, so I found most of these on the UCSP Sound Archive. But it is Byron G. Harlan. Love this song. Great condition. 10 out of 10. Scrumptious. I got all the gold molded and, um, uh, these two Amberols in a big case for 100 bucks. 
So this is Good Night, Mr. Moon, Albert von Tilzer, 1912. Uh, I didn't know they... Bro, where did the slip go? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat somebody. JK, I would never, but... I need to find wherever that one went, because I forgot to put the slip back in. Pop that back on the racist cylinder. Um... This one's in good condition. Well, definitely later. Gold moldeds. Um, looks nice. I got the original lid. Oh, there it is. Hurrah, hurrah. Um, this is uh to the work by um the Edison mixed chorus. Um, I mean, Mixed Quartet, 1908, um, very shiny, good condition, trying my best not to touch the grooves, but this one actually has another bottom glued onto it, so that's kind of peculiar, but, uh, plus, but you know what, also, I have another Albert Benzler one, which is Two Old Songs, Bell Solo. I think this is 19... Yeah, 1909. Um, very shiny. Nice condition. 10 out of 10. What to eat. Scrumptious, delicious, delicious. So, um, uh, so this is another gold molded one. Can't remember what it is, but uh, this is the American Polka... By John J. Kimmel, I think. Yeah, it's an accordion solo, but somewhere on here, I can't remember. Yeah, there, there is a large crack. Probably won't play this one. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but I, these are all done. I'm gonna look at these now. So, this one. Something race there, but, uh... Oh, we have I'm Up in the Air about Mary by Billy Murray. Couldn't find a recording of this on the UCSB Cylinder Archive. But this is 1906. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think it was in here. But, um, this is... I just have it labeled 1852 because it is a unlabeled... Or at least on the rim... It is, um, unlabeled black wax cylinder with a, um, I'll try to get in light and show it as best I can, but, uh, we got the Thomas Edison logo. Uh, there's patent and the numbers on that slip somewhere on here it's very hard to see unless it's like right in the light so i will play that too to find out what it is but uh hopefully it's something good because yeah so um now we have i it says the this tops really don't say much but very nice shiny one this is uh, I couldn't find this, too, but there's a piano solo, Summer Recollections, from... I couldn't find this one, so uh, I didn't write it down, but just pop that. Where'd it go? I'll just pop that, um, slip back in the case. But, um, yeah, I couldn't, I don't know what year this is, couldn't find it. But, um, this is, My Gal Irene by Colin and Harlan from 1908. Uh, nice looking cylinder, shiny, uh, all these black ones are gold molded cylinders, if I didn't mention that, but, um, <clears throat> This is the Golden Wedding. 
Ada Jones and Len Spencer, 1905. Pretty good. Uh, not my favorite, but meh. Uh, what is this? This is Berlin Berlin Nails by uh, J. Scott Skinner on the um, violin. Uh, nice, nice and shiny, just like the other ones. These cylinders are either like really good condition, cracked, or pulverized. So, um, this is Petit Tonkin Noise by the Edison Concert Band in 1907. Um, good looking cylinder, shiny as well. Uh, this one is Mother's Prayer by, uh, the, I think Edison Next Quartet. If I can get the slip. Oh, James Harrison and the Edison Next Quartet. Okay, but, uh, yeah, pretty good. Jesus Christ, I keep forgetting to put the slip back in I'll you know what where where is it so I'll just find it later put that there um this one I got at a different place but this is don't go away by uh Collins and Harlan um the the lid is not in the best condition but um this is a very early wax ambro, number seven, but a uh, pretty good condition, I'd say. I don't collect these. I only have two, and one of them is cracked in half, so. Or it was. I glued it back together with a weld bond. That's coming up in a second. Oh, my God. Yeah, I had a very hard time with this lid. Um, so we'll just stick that there. This cylinder is... Uh, Jeer Stanford's Yodeling and Whistling Specialty. It's, I listened to it, it's pretty terrible. I, the, the conditions, the song is fine, just kind of sucks. It's not my type of thing. But, as you can see, it's pretty good. I think it's about 1910. No clue who Jeer Stanford is. Never heard of him, probably never look him up, but. Uh. This is Annie Laurie and Home Sweet Home, uh, Bell Solo by John F. Buckhart. I think I have him on something else, but this one was the one that was uh, snapped in half. I'll show it in the light. Jesus Christ, it's hard to film with a phone. But yeah, that one snapped in half, both sides. But I glued it. It's fine now, so probably won't ever play that. And last but not least, actually, yeah, probably least, because um, this is instrumental ballet from the musical The Prophet. Uh, big crack. Will not play. But otherwise, good condition. So this is... um. All these cylinders I got at Brimfield. Um, this does not count uh, my other cylinders. So, yeah. Um, now I have probably about 90. So, um, let's just play this one. This is on the shores of Italy. I really like it. Hopefully you will too. Let's just play this one. Really awkward to film with the phone. This might come out a lot later than I filmed it because I'm having trouble posting, but uh, hope you enjoy it. I live oh, crap. And I'll just show a little bit of it, I'll post the full thing in a different video.
So that was really catchy part, but... So, um... If you'd like to contact me about anything in this video, it is uh, phonographguy3435 at, um, on the talking machine forum. People say, like, there's, they have trouble with making an account, and a moderator needs to, like, kind of verify the account, so it might take a little bit, but hopefully, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, again, like, I don't know that much, too much, but, uh, I know, like, enough where I, I can, like, answer probably, like, some questions. Okay, thanks. Bye!